All right, so this is the water drop project setup. Uh, walk you through the different pieces. The heart of the system is this controller. This controller allows me to uh, run the valve and the flash. Um, this button here allows me to flow the water uh, manually so that I can prime the valve. Uh, the encoder here allows me to set the drops and the flash delay. Uh, and to fire it off, and then this actually controls the shutter. Um, had to do a little something special for the shutter because of the camera. I'll show you that in a second. But initially, I've got this set for, so I can get it so it shows up here, two drops. If I go up, I can dial up to here. We can go into the drops. You can see the two drops. First one, it has a delay of 100 milliseconds, and then the valve is open for 10 milliseconds. The second drop, um, fires off at 225 milliseconds, and I was also open for 10 milliseconds. So by increasing the size or the number of milliseconds the valve is open, I can change the, the size of the drop. And the delay uh, essentially is what causes the spacing between the two drops so that the first one hits, causes a splash. Uh, the second one is coming in behind it at 125 milliseconds later and uh, it hits the top of the first one and causes the, uh, the, the little plateau across the top as it flashes when I do it. So the valve itself is um, solenoid controlled. It's actually an air valve that I repurposed for the water um, just because it's very fast and uh, just a, a water reservoir that runs into it. So when the valve opens up uh, briefly, it causes the drop to go falls down into uh, the little bowl that has uh, water. That's where the splash occurs. Right now I have red food coloring in there. The red food coloring is just to give uh, some nice colors to it. This flash here is the one that is actually tied to the controller. As you can see, it has a, a blue gel across it. That's pointing at the back. The second flash is set up in slave mode uh, so that when the first one goes, uh, this one actually shoots at the water drop to light it to give a little more sparkly to the to the um, water splash. This particular camera, Candy Apple Red Nikon DS3200, uh, 3, um, unfortunately doesn't have a digital input to fire off the shutter. So what I've done is I have an extra infrared remote that I've wired in rather than having the button on it. I've actually wired it in so it plugs into an opto isolator on the controller. Uh, that points at the camera. So in the camera, I put it into um, remote mode. So now I'll run on remote. I have it set for uh, one third of a second at f32, so a very, very small aperture. I, I want to get a pretty good depth of field uh, because the macro lens is so close, I still get blurring behind it. But what I was finding is if the aperture was too wide, the depth of field was too shallow, and I couldn't get the entire splash uh, in focus. So 200 ISO, one third of a second. The controller opens the uh, shutter about a quarter of a second before the um, flash goes off. So it comes in just in time. So let's let's fire it off and see what happens. Four, three, two, one. There it is. And there's the splash.